And you're single, but she claims, get this, that you can cleanse yourself of toxic relationships and end up happy with her 30-day love detox. Please welcome back Dr. Wendy Walsh. Welcome Hello. back. Hi. Okay, so we have a lot of questions about this. In the beginning of the book, you make... Yes. A startling statement uh, may not surprise some, but you say that when women rise in power, men are likely to less likely to get married. Of course, because when women are disadvantaged, marriage rates go up, more kids are born in wedlock, virginity is coveted. When women start to make their own money and get educated, they just enjoy the pleasures of their body. They put sex out in the culture in high supply. But what happens to men in a high supply sexual economy? They're less likely to commit because they can text in a herd any night of the week now. So you're not telling women not to try to be successful? Not at all. Okay. I'm telling women to practice slow love. It's like the slow food movement. Slow love and build some intimacy before they start knocking boots. What are you telling men? Uh, well, telling I wish I could control men. I haven't figured that one out yet. Have you? Okay. <laughs> but you, you feel, a lot of women feel that hooking up, that is having sex without a commitment, leads to the commitment. You say no. The research was startling that a good proportion of women think that a hookup is a stepping stone to a relationship. I promise you no man thinks that, okay? A man can have sex with the same woman for six months straight and not like her any better than he did at the beginning. But women fall in love through sex. The, you know, oxytocin gets excreted during female orgasm. They start to bond. They start to get delusions of love. Doesn't happen with men. All right, now you also said that living together before marriage is one of the worst things you could do. And I lived with my husband before we got married, so I'm curious to know why, because I would think you would want to- You got a big ring. <laughs> think that you would want to a long time Barbara yeah. <laughs> you, would, you would not be happy a very long time but I would think you would want to test it out first this is see. what people think and you are the anecdote that disproves the statistical probability that affects everybody else it's the lala it is factor. Yeah, the lala factor exactly but if you do cohabitate you have less chance that you'll actually get married and if you do get married you have a higher divorce rate and this is because That's most proven? people unlike really? you do it because they're dipping in their toe well, say that again. if you so live together, together you have less you chance you'll get married you have less chance and you have less chance of a happy marriage? You'll have a, divor you have a divorce higher divorce rate. rate. Yeah. You'll have a higher divorce rate. Thing. Exactly. Bad, exactly. You know. Because people cohabitate because they want to save expenses or they want to test out a relationship. But what makes a long-term relationship work is commitment. Intellectual commitment. So wow. you went into it saying, I'm in here for the long haul. It might take him a while to give me that ring, but I'm in here for the long haul, right? You yes. had but, commitment. But that's assuming that he wasn't feeling the same way that she was feeling. See, I, I, I just think that when two people know he wanted to get married, mm -hmm. she knew she wanted to get married, and that they decide they're going to, I think it's, it's different than just sort of saying, you know, he's not thinking that way, because I think a lot of guys might be. They could All be. Right. Lots yeah. of guys want to commit. Yeah. Lots of guys want to have good healthy relationships but not if girls are offering okay. free sex you have I'm sorry to do this but we have a limited time you have something called a 30-day love detox which is how you can get rid of the inappropriate man I guess inappropriate man being the one who doesn't want to get married what's your detox exactly part? the detox is a five-part attachment strategy it's about learning to know yourself and what you want in your long-term relationship goals but more than anything we are starting a movement here ladies this is the slow love movement that means delaying the onset of the sexual relationship for at least 30 days. Did you know if you have sex within 30 days of meeting somebody, you've got about a 90% chance of being broken up within one year? Wow. wow. Isn't that what crazy? What and and for less life. technology. Less time. technology, that's, more that's FaceTime. That's just tweetable is all I have to say. <laughs>